is an example where we're trying to show how you can use a flood barrier, in this case a water tube, over poor or porous surfaces with the use of a plastic liner. Normally, you can see I'm standing on a gravel surface. Anything you put on here is going to leak, no matter what the barrier is, just because it's a porous surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to send a massive amount of water this way, and we're going to leave one tube that's filled with no liner, just to show how quickly the water can go under it, because clearly this is a porous surface. But if you come down here, we've done two things. We've got a piece of plastic that is spanning over the barrier. That way the water is going to get on the plastic. The downward pressure is going to create a better seal. The longer the plastic, the slower water will be able to seep through this. You can also see how I've dug down through the rock to what I roughly believe to be the level of the, the soil, dirt, what have you. So as what I'm doing in this case is I'll take my plastic liner, I'll put it right here where I'm essentially diving it into the ground. And here, these are amazing. These are gigantic sand socks. This replaces probably four sandbags. I'm lifting it quite easily. And so I can extremely effectively put this sand sock right on the leading edge of my barrier. You could also bury it. You could use sand stakes or sandbags. You could use turf stakes. You could just use rocks. Basically, the idea is we want the water to get on top of this liner first. That pressure puts it down, and there will be less seepage. So we look forward to this experiment to see how quickly water will seep under a lined barrier versus one that has no liner at all. So let's see what happens. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and come check us out on Facebook.